This is incredible technology that you can hear me and understand me, but the men won't be able to understand you because they don't have the earbuds. They won't be able to communicate with you. Oh. 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 This is the challenge. You were all this looks so good. That is TLC's new show, Love and Translation, where three American bachelors travel to paradise and are joined by 12 women who do not speak any English. They're put to the test to see if they can find love with one another. And we're now joined with the host of the show. You know where you love her. Say, get up a time. It's so good to see. I know the minute I saw you, I was getting all emotional. I'm like, no. <laughs> Keep it together. Is on. Yeah. I am not doing this. Oh, I love you guys. Yeah. Oh, good to see you yeah. both. I'm Much so love excited. back. Good oh. to see you. So good to see you. Because last time you were here, I know. we were saying goodbye because yeah. ET Canada was coming to an end. But so good to have you back. I know. And this show, now you're hosting this show. Uh, I need to, when you were told the concept, what did you think? <laughs> I thought, you know what, it was the engineer in me, I'm like, this is fascinating, we are going to put something to the test. This is a social experiment that hasn't been done yet, and it really does make me think about, you know, when you met your partner, what was that thing that right. made that connection? Was it words, or was it that look, or was it that smile? What was it right. that made you feel like, oh yeah, that's my person? And I, that's what I love about the show. Yeah. Well, for me, I mean, I, what, he was a first responder, and I was his emergency. No so way! <laughs> But that's another so, like, story. Yeah. Right? Wait, 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 wait. No, no. <laughs> Hold on. Does he pick you up? And you're like, oh, my God. This I, yeah, kind of, oh. yeah, I had to get picked up. But, yeah, anyway. But <laughs> this um, but this concept is that is just, it's, it's mind-boggling. Yeah. And, uh, like, has it changed your idea on how we, Completely. how we react? Do you, are you looking at Sam differently yeah. now? You know, the first experiment we do, and it's really awkward. You have to look into someone's eyes for two minutes straight. When was the last time you've done that? And it was really interesting because there's one girl from Japan, Ari, in their culture, looking into someone's eyes is disrespectful. And you don't realize it until she actually does the test where she just can't look into their eyes. While there's another guy looking into another woman's eye and they're falling in love. You could literally watch them. They're just slowly just gazing right into each other. And, you're, and I'm watching this from the sideline and I'm like... It's actually working. Yeah. This experiment is actually working. And it's the pheromone. There's the next test that you will see is about smell. Mm -hmm. So the guys don't have a shirt on and the girls are blindfolded and they will have to smell the guy and see if they feel an attraction. Like and if it pheromones is, oh, is an yeah, actual the pheromones, thing. Yeah, right? yeah. It, it is a thing. So it's like, see, like which girl will fall for which guy. It's really interesting. Yeah, I mean, this is almost kind of like a science experiment. Yeah. Yes. It is a relationship one, right? So. Go back in time for us, Angita. Yeah. Uh, you, as a maybe your younger self, do you think that uh, you would go on a show like this to find love? Oh, that's a really good question. Uh, probably not. Because <laughs> <laughs> if I'm sniffing someone, I will be sniffing. Like, I'll be going, oh, my God, do I like this? Um, you know, but I don't know. I found my husband by looking at his smile, and that was it for me, and I knew he was my man. And so... I don't know. Would you? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, like you were saying, there's a bit of a risk there because if somebody's, you know, picking up on my scent and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not a match. It's not a match. <laughs> I didn't take a shower yeah. like that. Exactly. That's, that's is the it response. my cologne or is it yeah. me? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, the other great thing about the show is that the women decide. Like most shows, it's the guy saying, hey, do you want to go out? Or, you're, you're the person I picked. They get to decide if they want to go on the date or if they want to leave, which is something completely different. So it's nice that they have control. Now, for me, I understand the women and the women understand me. So I, the guys are just put through the ring. Like they're just having a hard time. They can't use pickup lines to make their move on these girls. Girls. And I just saw them while I was in L.A. And they, the memories are coming back. So it's a lot of fun. Okay. Well, I can't wait to see this. Um, before we let you go, before we run out of time, I yeah. um, want to ask you about your health journey. Mm. Bring us up to speed because it, we do know it's cancer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, thyroid cancer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, okay. Uh, tell us where you're at in it because I just caught it myself. I didn't know yeah. it was the C word. You know, when you were talking about UT Canada, Cheryl and I were sitting here and at that time I just made my surgery appointment. And so the week after I was supposed to go for surgery. 
um, we knew it was something. We didn't know exactly what it was. Um, and I thought it was maybe if it is cancer, it's a thyroid cancer is very common. So I thought potentially it's just that type of cancer. Unfortunately, it became one of the rare cancers that you can get in thyroid. And that came after the pathology report. And more development came after the... What I found out was the, they, we got the lump out, we got the cancer out. Unfortunately, it leaked into two of my vessels, so it's now living in my blood. So if it were to come back, it would target my bones or my lungs. So um, unfortunately, I will have to do another surgery, and I will have to do some radiation, uh, radioactive iodine, which is great. It means I'm radioactive for a week, so the kids can't come near me, so I'll have a, a week vacation in my bedroom. Um, it just happened so quickly. Everything was happening at the same time. And Can I say, first of all, much love and support to you. You know, you've got that from all of us yeah. right here at the morning show. But uh, also that, uh, much like we're talking about King Charles off the top of the show, You've been very open about this, I know, yeah. on social media, and I can only imagine the response that you've received, how heartwarming that is, and how many people you have potentially helped as yeah. well. So I, that's I great. Think, and I, that, you know, when you post, you're not sure how, how to react, and you put it down, and when you see how many people are actually going through things, I'm, and, and helping them, and like, I have no scar, and they're like, there's no such, I didn't know about the surgery, and so now women are asking their doctors, let me have the surgery Sangeeta had. And like that, that's what it's all about. But the love and the, the community we have built, has been pretty amazing, but yeah, it's been a ride. But you know what? I'm just, I'm feeling a lot of joy and a lot of love. So yeah, here I am. So in April, another surgery and uh, next step. All right, well, um, as Jeff said, you're in our hearts, you're in our minds. Um, keep us updated and uh, much love to you. Well, I'm coming to hang out again, okay? Yeah, all, right. all right. Well, we gotta talk about the show. I mean, you gotta watch it. It's on 10 p.m. every Sunday. Love and Translation on TLC. This is where you'll see this one. And yeah, she's coming back to update us on everything. Yeah. Right. Let's do an experiment. Let's just look into each other's eyes. Uh, well, I'm done. So <laughs> love and Translation. <laughs> 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 I told you. Say no more.